Vinod Kumar Tikku is joining us from Delhi. is a member of the NCPCR, the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights. Gauri Ishwaran, former principal, well-known educationist of Sanskriti School. Thank you very much, Ms. Ishwaran, for joining us. My first question is to Lata Vedanathan, who is principal of Modern School Barakamba Road. Um, what I found most shocking in that case, uh, Ms. Vedanathan, was that this particular person, A, is a vice principal. He's not an amateur teacher. Uh, worst, Ms. Vedyanathan, he was a serial offender. He's been doing this in the past. It's only when his horror crossed the limits that, uh, and when media sort of got involved that the stories come out. What do you th make of it? You know, Arnab, I think it's very sad. First and foremost, we need to condemn the incident. I don't think any adult, teacher or otherwise, has any right to physically abuse any child in his or her care. That's the first thing. Now, allegedly, this person has been in the habit of abusing children. I think action should have been taken long back and such instances prevented. Fundamentally, I think schools must have a very decent policy on child care and the policies must be effectively communicated, trained and counseled. This should be a routine matter for school to make sure that its teachers and all its stakeholders in the school provide for a very caring uh, environment. You know, while all this may seem very theoretical, I like to tell you that constant reminders of this factor and inclusion of children and their points of view must be taken into account while making all this possible. And continuous counselling for adults and teachers within the, uh, within the four walls of their own school without waiting for any kind of government intervention must be in place so that we are able to deal with anger management, with aggression management and with a whole lot of other counselling requirements that are requ but that must be in place in school. The problem and is, yeah. pro problem is uh, Ms. Ms. Vaidyanathan and I don't want to, you know, try and generalise here because the last time I asked a few direct questions to the head of the NCPCR, she was extremely upset. Uh, she said, why have you called me on the program if you want to interrogate me, etc., etc. My simple question was to her and as I will repeat to Vinod Kumar Tikku this evening. I think you are in charge of Bengal, Mr. Tikku. I think Bengal comes under your charge if I am not mistaken. So, you should pay attention to this. My question is, sir, that, you know, what, what we know that, you know, uh, apparently 99.86% of children in a NCPCR survey said we have faced corporal punishment, right? It, 150 teachers were surveyed in Mumbai or reve revealed that all of them, all of them resorted to corporal punishment in the classroom. Now, what does the NCPCR do? You are only a recommendatory body. You have no real powers. What's the point of having these surveys done, Mr. Tikku, if on the ground a child faces that kind of treatment? You see, it's not just the recommendatory body that we admit. Uh, I agree that it is it is a recommendatory body, but then again, we have been taking uh, cognizances of various corporal punishment cases and other cases otherwise also. Even in the case of uh, Chantini case and that bedwetting case, we have we were the first one to jump up to that and send a notice to the uh, sir, state secretary of education so as well as to the sir, vice principal of, comes out vice the vice of the Chantini case. No, 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 one second. Uh, Mr. Tikku, after the story comes out in the media yeah. for two or three days, you send a you send a uh, you send a a number of people there they give you a report what happens what happens after lama this is in, in bengal alone there you had the lamarts incident you had the shantiniketan incident now you have the hugli incident the education minister says i don't even know about it bring it to my notice what is the point of having a recommendatory body this is very unfortunate if the minister says that he is not aware of that this is this is because it has been sh shown all across the channel and he, he cannot say that he is not taken and this definitely is something very unfortunate that has been happening uh, i mean this we have already had uh, problems with the law martinia school in 2010 and we again had it with nopani school in the same west bengal Basically, what we need to basically is do is to change the mindset of the people out there. In fact, the state education department has come out with a notification, gazette notification, on 6th of January 2011, which we have vehemently protested. you are saying about, sir, you are talking and, about, and, and, you are and, talking and, and, about, you are talking about changing mindsets. I respect you for your right to say that. But how do you tackle mindsets yeah. in, in a country like this? One minute. You see, all schools well, are not Sanskriti school and modern school Delhi. You, in Uttar Pradesh, the state uni basic education minister, Ram Govind Chaudhary, has gone on record 
in July this year saying that caning makes students well do well in academics. The state education no, minister is justifying corporal punishment. What action can you take against That's him? What I'm saying. This is exactly Arna, what I'm saying that we have to definitely tackle it on the basis of the mindset of the people. The uh, notification which I'm talking about which has been issued by the state education department on 6 January 2011 sort of legalizes certain portions of the corporal punishment which we have been vehemently opposing and we have uh, recently had been to the West Bengal I had met uh, the state uh, uh, secretary, principal secretary on education. We have discussed this issue that this clause, uh, the Clause 5 of this notification of 6 January 2011 needs either to be repealed or needs to be amended. Sir, 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 because sir, that there is sort a... of legalizes that sir, sort of legalizes the corporal punishment. Sir, in a and this is what I'm talking about, sir, that it in, is there in the mindset. No, in a country like India, Gauri Ishwaran, I think uh, Vinod Kumar Tikko has raised a valid point because we were going through this and I learnt, Ms. Ishwaran, that there is no offence in the Indian penal codes dealing specifically with corporal punishment. In fact, teachers can escape prosecution by invoking some exceptions, you know. And, and, and uh, according to what I read, they can say we were acting in good faith. There is a ban on corporal punishment, but a teacher who carries out corporal punishment can actually get away under the law. Do you think we need to change the laws? Will that help, Ms. Ishwaran? Uh, well, I think, uh, Arnav, the law, if this is true, the law definitely needs to be changed. But just changing a law doesn't uh, get you anywhere. Look at the number of laws we have in this country and just analyze our impact. But what is important is, in a way, Mr. Tikku is right when he talks about mindset from the point of view that the teacher training courses need to be improved, where teachers are taught how to deal with indiscipline without resorting to corporal punishment. You know, there are some teachers who are ineffective, uh, who have not had sufficient training and sheer frustration, they lash out. But in this case, there seems to be a gentleman who has repeatedly done it and he felt free to get away with it because nobody has hauled him up before. And school management should have a policy. Any teacher who resorts to corporal punishment has, is out. I mean, you cannot keep a teacher in the school who raises a hand on any child. You know, uh, the worst trauma any child can suffer is to be whacked in school. And there is no excuse. I don't think any teacher, there is nothing called good in good faith where this is concerned. The law needs to be changed, but that's not enough. You need to do more teacher training. And you know something, Arna, we also need principal's training. How do you, so as the head of so an true. institution, counsel your teachers to make sure that this is unacceptable and something that no school will ever deal with? The state governments and their, the uh, Department of Education need to issue circulars to schools so in that schools where there will be corporal punishment, they will be penalized. For example, in Delhi, if there is a bus accident, the principal yeah. will be sent to jail. So you need to have stern measures like this if you are going to put an end to it. But also do remember, Arna, when you are speaking, don't tar all teachers with the same brush. Absolutely there are wonderful not. teachers available also. Absolutely not. It is not. these exceptions that we need to deal with. Absolutely not. And, and I, I, if, if I gave that impression, I stand corrected. But I did say that there are many exceptions, uh, you know, that I did intend to give that uh, impression. We have great respect for our teachers. We've all had wonderful teachers, including me, myself. 